The way we look at things is sometimes very cowardly. I think we are afraid of looking. We are not afraid of hearing. That's why uh, the ear is an important organ, because it's a passive organ. It just hears. But eyes also express the psyche. So if you look at something, you are seen as well. That's why um, uh, quite a lot of people stop looking at things intensively or closer um, so that they would hide behind it. There is a look which is closed, like a curtain, or you can push reality away because then it's like a projection, it doesn't bother. But if you open your eyes, you express a part of yourself and you exhibit yourself in a way, and that's all right. Actually, I mean psyche, but of course you cannot show psyche. You can always uh, only show uh, psyche through the body. And when you have a camera and you're trying to show something which is inner, but you have the outer world, uh, you have to try uh, different ways of um, Mm, expressing it or of looking at, at it. Uh, you know, I, I'm very short-sighted. I was always short-sighted. And I painted a lot. I studied painting. And I used to sit very close to the models, low, of course, so that I wouldn't disturb uh, the painters on the back. Um, because if I was on a certain distance, I wouldn't see anything. So I uh, started to like this kind of intimate uh, uh, angles. From beneath, looking at the body from beneath, it looks much more three-dimensional than if you look at it from a certain distance. And um, in film, I, I was still looking for this kind of intimacy uh, and uh, identification also with the person, with the body that's shown. My films, and I think quite a lot of other films, are rhythmical. The morphology of film is the same as the morphology of music. Uh, there is rhythm in it, there is movement, there is a new movement, there is a melody. It is the same. And uh, uh, I think that a good film is a film where you can listen to the track uh, of it and sense the music in it. Especially in short films, which are concentrated poetical things, they are like music, like poetry. The acoustic uh, is, of course, uh, a possibility to show the outer world. Because I think in my first uh, uh, films where I performed the main role, this is kind of a claustrophobic in a uh, close up, uh, is something like a very personal room. And the acoustic often, often, not always, reminds of the world outside. These are pieces of language, of music, of something th which are like quotations from the outer world. They come into the inner world. Mit einer Mischung aus Erstaunen und Panik öffnete Titania die Augen. Vor ihr stand Joachim Sturz und grinste. Ich bin es, dein Großvater. Hallo, schön dich zu sehen. <lacht> In my first films, I used myself as an object. Later on in Cerulax, it was the first time when I put the little wick and make like that and go out of the picture. I sensed that there is something like acting. I knew there is something like acting, but I didn't think of using it. And from this moment on, I um, started watching and using 
small movements, small expressions, maybe some little things that are very fine that there are no words about, but which express psyche. We have a big competence about all these little psychical uh, expressions of a body, you know, when you say minimal things, which mean a lot. I'm grown up in the operetta. My father was a violinist in the operetta, so I was so always there during the rehearsals and looked at these wonderful operetta stars, uh, awful from a, the today point of view. Deutschlandfunk, 10 Uhr 8, Meldungen zur Verkehrslage. Hamburg, Autobahn 7, Hannover, Hamburg. And I developed certain characters for myself, which is uh, Mimi Minus, for instance. This is my actor for the films. Uh, Mahatma Gobi is an old lady, so I can turn into an old lady with, uh, and uh, talk about how uh, I, I don't have my requisites about uh, um, how um, bourgeois the young people of today has become. Madame Ping Pong with the tall hairs singing and uh, she has a whole theory of, uh, of survival and of uh, losing. It is as if I invented cinema for myself. I don't want to say a big word, but we really uh, started with very primitive, under primitive conditions with, and with no knowledge at all. I understood as, um, as um, moving pictures or rather moving sculptures. You know, when you walk around the sculpture and look at it from different angles, it is a film because it's moving in time. So I thought maybe I could do the opposite way. I make a film which is linear time, watching time, and then when one remembers the film back, it should connect into a sculpture. And then I thought maybe because they are black and white and very contrast, I thought this is something like a written picture, like black on white, like something stated, something strongly stated, like letters. But you know, letters don't have any meaning. You have to pronounce it to grasp the meaning. Even if you read a text, you pronounce it in your mind. Letters like that don't mean anything. And that's uh, also um, what is happening with a film. It is just shadow and light, but a film, it becomes in the head of everyone. Everyone has his own empathical channel to what he's seeing. Everyone his, his, sees his own film. my personal way of looking at things. Uh, I see almost in everything, I see something tragical, something funny. I love uh, to watch how people try their best or do nonsense or do something completely stupid with the idea that they are doing something very holy. Yes, and, and um, it is funny. Uh, this uh, divergence, this contradiction between uh, how uh, be between the idealistic um, motivation of people and the result, and on the other side, uh, some people want to do something really naughty, but something good comes out of it. So uh, there is some humor in it in, in our effort to sustain or to prove oneself. And uh, I think I love the human being. <laughs>